Hi, my name is Maria Noonan McDermott and I am a visual artist and a poet, originally from Donegal, now based in Kinloch in County Leitrim. Today I'm just going to give you a little tour of my studio. On the easel, I am currently working on an oil painting, a figurative one called Alma Jamila which is Soul Twins. Now this is still at the very, very early stages. So lots of work to be done on that yet. Bring you around here. This is one of my older paintings. I have it 30 years. And it's from my first solo exhibition in Letter Kenny. It's a figurative piece. This is my work area. As you can see I'm a very very tidy worker. <laughs> These are all my knives, my trusty knives. I love working with palette knife. I like building up the texture and the paintings over a period of months. This particular painting, or sorry, this particular knife is one I've had since my first show 30 years ago. And it's become an extension of my body at this stage. I still love the way it beams my hand when it's quite pouring. This is my um, supply area. All my mediums and inks, and large oil tubes. This painting is a figurative painting of two old men that used to pass our house every weekend going to the pub. <laughs> and You'd hear them laughing and carrying on. And then maybe three, four hours later, maybe five or six hours later, you'd hear them trying to negotiate their two black bicycles on the way home again. And how they managed it every weekend, I don't know. But it was so much fun to watch them. I'm taking you around. These are paintings that have just come back from exhibition and this one is called Fisherman's Haunt and it is inspired by the Drowse River, um, a favourite of the local fishermen. And this area is just about a kilometre down the road from us. <clears throat> These are my stands with all my Irish Arts Review magazines, which I've been collecting for many, many years. I'll take you to my side wall now and into my favourite painting, one of my favourites. And this is called The Scholar After Yeats. Growing up, I was always inspired by Jack Yeats, the painter, but also the poetry of William Butler Yeats. This is called The Pilgrims. And the painting above is entitled Arcadia. And I have a piece of original poetry to go along with that as well. This painting is called First light. I'll take you around the other way, maybe. Let's see better. And the painting below is called Mardi Gras is over. Now on the back wall. <clears throat> 
lovely large oil painting called Remnants. And below, we have a painting entitled Amidst Soft Rushes. And this was inspired by a beautiful little cottage that we had in the Wise of Donegal. And we would look out the window and the fields were just full of rushes. And the light and the beautiful textures and colours were just amazing. Now this painting is entitled Movement in Red with the Poppies. And this painting is entitled Harmonics. Now this painting here is called Eventide and it was inspired by a little breakdown in County Clare. The lovely Martello Tower and the light in the evening was just spectacular. And the one beside that is called The Diver Stoop. Now this was inspired by um, my childhood, my childhood memories and walks on Bundoran Beach, watching all the teenagers lining up to dive off the stoop to the pier. So history repeating itself. It's the simple things in life that we remember. This beautiful romantic little one, nice warm colours, is called Lover's Path. And we have another romantic one beside it called The Rendezvous. You can just imagine the lover standing on the bridge. These are just a few works in progress. It will take a while to finish them. Um, this one is called The Homecoming. I don't often show people pieces or paintings before they're actually framed and in the galleries. This one's called The Stillness. And this Painting the Vase of Flowers is called Crimson Kisses. Still a little work to do in all of those. And this painting here is entitled The Crag. Coastal one also inspired by the walks on Tullin Strand. This cute little painting is called Wishies and it's a relatively new painting and I have a little piece of poetry that I composed to go along with it. What do you dream of little ones? Long tall grasses to hide beneath blankets of green, great oaks to shelter and rivers to swim. What do you dream of, little ones? Bluebell oceans aft and waft in a sea of colour, wildflower meadows and daisy chains. What do you dream of, little ones? Dandelions when they go to seed, not weeds, but magical crowns and wands called wishes, blown and caught on angels' wings, whilst held aloft on children's breath. Now, finally, I get to show you some of my books. I'm going to show you my first one. This one's called Beyond the Horizon. And that was the first time that I put my 
artwork and poetry together. And this is my new edition from last year called Visual Anthology. Once again, it's a collection of all my artwork and poetry. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey around my studio and I will see you again soon.